I have one that says Cindy the Queen of the Heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a video. I've actually been doing a lot of creating, straightening, and organizing my craft room. So there will be some upcoming de-stash probably um, not too long from now. So I'll be looking for that. But I have quite a few crafting um, things to share with you guys the next couple of weeks. Hopefully I can keep the crafting going on. Um, basically my netbook just wasn't communicating properly with my webcam and it was just like didn't have enough memory so i had to get a new computer so i used a stimulus uh check for that so that was kind of fun i just got it so i'm hooking it up and updated my um, webcam software so i'm kind of learning how to do that so what i want to share with you guys today are a couple of sort of happy mail um kind of little ideas so first of all is um darcy's i i used to get actually i think i just canceled it um darcy's kit i think it was a bi-monthly kit you would get like three i think three stamp sets plus um the little charms that go with it and a bunch of paper so what i did with the paper is i actually um cut them all up and made these little card kits so there's a bunch of them and so basically in this card kit I used a variety of different um, you know cardstock that I had on hand as well as a cardstock that it comes with so Darcy's gives you a lot of pieces to make um, cards as well as these are like suggestions of cards that you know you can make with what comes in the kit so um, in this particular kit, I have the reference card, which also can be used as an actual card. And then all of the pieces to make um, the card are all included, everything but the envelope. And then this is something really fun that you could put, um, just drop, you know, if you're going to um, send some happy mail to somebody. Or if you wanted to give this to somebody, um, who's not you know super crafty or with kids I think it'd be really really fun with kids so if my daughter starts getting super bored um, with the art classes we're doing and the virtual dance classes she's doing and all of the thousand piece puzzles she's doing then um, maybe we can break these out too just to keep her occupied um, also if her cousin comes over, these are kind of fun. So all the pieces to make these are all in here. Um, I'm going to start popping these in. So if I do D stashes or whatever, I hope to pop one of these in because I have quite a few of them and I'd rather, um, you know, give these away so that somebody could have, um, some fun putting together these little, um, card kits so those all these are the ones that I have so I thought that'd be kind of fun um, to do and also like if you don't have pre-made pieces like this when you make a card you always can stamp and color in extra pieces of things and put them in an envelope and um, then people would have pieces of things to make a card out of so that's a fun idea too I've done that before so the next thing is inspired by Bona. Um, she is on Instagram as well as I think she's Live Love Scrap. Uh, well, Live Love Laugh. I okay, always forget what her um, what her handle is on YouTube. Um, but anyway, I follow her on Instagram as well as YouTube, and um, she had this, which I also have. I don't get all of the Maggie Holmes like stamp styles, whatever. I do like the dies i like this one i also have another flower one that i really really like by her that i use all the time so this is a we are memory keepers revolution die i bought mine from scrapbook.com it was like under 12 dollars like 11 something and you get all these pieces um to make something so this is what she had made she had made these clusters so i had gone ahead and made these clusters with um some leftover kind of paper pad that's like a six by six paper pad i'm trying to think where is it from um i want to say that it might have been an echo park 
I'd had it forever. I only had like a few sheets left. So I really kind of wanted to kill that paper pad. So I went ahead and made these clusters and the color scheme is very similar to sort of Maggie Holmes almost. So I think it's really cute. So then the idea behind sort of this cluster, somebody could then, you know, take this and um, put it on a card, put it on a gift bag, um, but they would have a like a little a little fun thing that they could put on a project. So then I went ahead and I used the rest of that paper pad, which is a really, really good way of using up scraps. Um, while I was in the mood, I went ahead and I used the rest of the paper pad to make um, different little kind of embellishments or little die cuts that I could then use on projects or I could have ready to go to put on toppers, um, to throw in an envelope or a little box and give away if I wanted to do that. But here are some of the flowers. Um, the only thing additional that I used was um, sort of this copper glitter paper. And this is actually from the Heritage uh, paper. It's not really a paper pad. It's like a paper kit or whatever. It's like $9.99 from Joann's. <clears throat> Which, by the way, my mom sent me a $100 Joann's gift card for Mother's Day, like a virtual gift card, and $100 from Amazon, which is super exciting. And the Amazon one, I'm sure, is just to buy, you know, regular supplies and things like that. But the Joann's is kind of, kind of fun. So anyway, I have these flowers. These are the flowers that I made. And, you know, really cute. And then I went ahead and um, cut a few, I have a couple, a few extra leaves because I think I had more green left. Um, I did the bows. So I did blue bows. And then I did the deer. So, and the deer, I'm like, wow, you could maybe put like a little red bow or something. It could be Christmas deer. Um, so cute. And then the lemon, this one's a lime, <laughs> and the lemons, and then the silhouettes. So I thought that was a really fun way of using up scraps and um, a really fun kind of cute um, versatile dye that you really can change the look of. You can change the look of, of that dye by using different papers. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is Cindy the Crane with the Heart.